their beef boots. This is BTV time. Time for BTV. This is BTV time. Just for you and me. Hey guys, gals, my non-binary pals, and we are going to get uh, a puppy in like four and a half weeks, and we are gonna go get him some uh, new toys and some food and whatever. Um, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Um, but I've already bought we have already bought some things just from our local like supermarket. Uh, so I thought I would show you them. So first up, we have this dog bed. Um, it has this nice pattern on the side of it. We're probably going to put this in his crate. It has some nice soft fabric inside. And it's a good dog bed. So we got some toys here. So we've got this little tennis ball and a tire-like thing. Which I think would be a good fetch ball maybe for him when he gets a little bit older. We have this um, tug of war toy um, right here. Maybe a chewing toy too. Um, it's made out of rope, so it's a little easier to hold for him, I think. So we've got this one, this rectangular squeaky toy. It's quite loud, actually. It has a little fabric cover on it. This one I'll probably use for his training a little bit more. Um, we have had a dog before, um, we're getting a new one now, so we still, we already have some toys for him, but we're gonna get him some more stuff. Uh, I'll see you later. So, we're walking around Petco right now, we found this, um, worm <laughs> squeaky toy. I've seen that these are really good ones for dogs. Um, they had a really long one, but we got this shorter one. Um, each section of them squeaks, so right now we're in the food aisle and we're just looking around. So There's some Kongs over here. They also got some Kong Junior toys. So, for our next destination, um, we're here at PetSmart, and um, I think I'm going to want to get um, maybe something like a bone, maybe, um, like a flavored bone or something, because it doesn't have many, like, shoe toys, so we're going to go with I can feel it in the back, and it feels pretty. It's really slippery. This one looks like an Among Us character. Is. Like what dog do you have to lead you to buy this beef booties? They're beef booties. Uh, hey guys, we are um, just going to show you our little store haul. One of these items is not like the other, and that is because it is not a dog item, and it is this pillow. Do you like it? Screen. It's a pillow. Um, goodbye pillow. Anyway, onto the dog stuff. So, I will be unboxing this, if you are wondering. I will be taking it out of its packaging. Even if it is a kennel cup, but. So, what I think is really cool about these kennel cups is they attach to the wall of their kennels. So, and then you can pour water through this hole right here. And then it fills up with water, so you don't have to open their cage to refill their well, kennel to refill their water. That's pretty cool. I will not unbox it because I'm pretty sure you have to unscrew this part to even take it out of the box. So we're not gonna do that right now. 
because it's not like a toy or anything. But that was over there with my scissors. Hello, these are my scissors. Two on bottom. Okay. This isn't something that we just bought, but I realized we had a tennis ball, so. That landed on the pillow. <laughs> so I'll have next, I've seen these are really good, but we have got a little worm squeaking toy. This one just makes a, it doesn't even have a. They had really long ones, but this one is a shorter one. Also, when we get our dog um, in like four and a half weeks or so, we shall give each toy to him and let him rate them out of 10. And um, we'll just see how he reacts to the toy. There's this really cool guy on YouTube. He, he trains dogs. His name is Zach George. You should go check his channel out. He's really cool. But um, I got these toys from him um, because they're really good like tug toys and they're good training toys. So I would recommend you these right now, but I don't have a dog yet. I don't know if they work yet. So <laughs> maybe later when my dog rates them. And he goes onto the pillow. So up here we've got um, this puppy chew here. They have a whole bunch of different ones. They have moderate chew, strong chew, and power chew. I don't know if you're gonna give the power chew to, maybe a rock, maybe your local Rottweiler or something. Um, but this is a um, teething puppy chew. They have little holes in the back so you can feel the bone. Um, we have a food and water bowl. We'll just take the tape off of this one. There's not much to unbox. Um, this one, it's elevated because I think it's a little easier for a dog to eat if their bowls are elevated. So, this is some strong tape. My gosh, it is like so strong. Who's sealing this? Why do you need to make the tape this strong? We're gonna do that later. <laughs> We'll have to wash and do. But then we have this um, Surf's Pop fruit drink. It does have a squeaker, but listen to this squeaker. It's a crazy one. We're probably going to actually cut the squeaker out of the back. Usually, toys are good for like attracting your dog and just letting your dog play with because they don't make that all the time when you're playing with them. Um, at the store we went to, they also had like cigarettes and cigarette tray ones and like slot machine ones and stuff. But I think that was really funny, but I don't want to induce my dog to gamble, so. I might show you guys the kennel. I might show you it later in this video, but I don't really know that. Up next we have this pig man. We, had to buy him. I also want to relieve him of his misery because he has this weird thing in his nose. I don't know if he likes that quite a lot. We're gonna have to relieve him of this nose pain to do the knot. Thank you. Y'all, this guy, he has a lot of stuff in his nose. We'll just subtly push that into his head. I do want to maybe sometime put this under someone's booty when they're going to sit down and then make it sound like they pig fart it. Wow, if your dog loves this toy, you better hope you have some earmuffs or some noise canceling headphones playing some not winking. <coughs> um, our previous dog, he loved this toy, but he destroyed it in like two seconds. So. Next up, we have this, it's a classic bone, okay? We have like so many of these. <laughs> this one is bacon scented, so if you do smell this side when it, you squeak it, it does smell like bacon, don't smell it, it's weird. <laughs> Here we go. Don't know if it, how many of you have dogs who are watching this, but if you do, Right here, we're probably not going to unbox this one. We can just take this off because this is a dog brush. Let me cut 
this tag off. It is a doggo brush, de shedding blade, a doggo brush, whatever you want to call it. Our last dog loved this, so um, I think it's a, he was a different breed, but he was still a bulldog. He was an English bulldog, and we're getting Frenchy right now, so I think we're gonna be okay. But you would brush him with this and get all the sh shedding hair off. You will cut this protective packaging off. That's why I'm just doing this, and it's not killing my hands, but to the pillow. We're throwing everything on the pillow. So now we've got um, some dog treats. Um, this one has two golden retrievers on here, I think, but this one has two different ones. These, this one is yogurt flavored and this one is liver flavored. And there are some Hollywood Star dog treats. Um, our last dog loved these treats. We trained him with these treats. These are the size, these are the actual size of them. So we are going to split them apart, but they are so, so we can do that. I will not throw these, I will set them down. Up next, we have this Chew and Clean. It's a, um, it's a bacon scented bone. You can actually feel it in the back here, feel the section. It just says durable a whole bunch of times on the back here. Texture surfaces and it tastes as chewing. Durable. Tempting. I think that's all you need in the bone. Satisfy your dog's natural urge to chew while providing helpful dental benefits. <laughs> Good job. Stand an odor remover here because, I mean, we don't know if he's going to. Number one or two. But. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. The um, enzyme cleaning in this is gonna be good because then it will really remove the odor and stain so that your dog won't be attracted to where it previously went potty and then it won't go there again, so. And also, one of the things that this reminds me of is you need to make sure that your dog knows your whole house so they think that your, their, your house is their home because if they don't think that your house is their home, then they'll might go, and then you might need this. They don't like to go in their house, so. <laughs> oh, this is just some bitter cherry spray. If he keeps chewing on my leg, I'll just spray some of this on my leg or something. I don't know. <laughs> might spray this on something that he keeps chewing, but he's not supposed to chew or something. Helps stop biting, chewing, licking, and scratching. It smells pleasant, but tastes bitter. It's non stinging and it's alcohol free, which means I could put it on my leg and then he would not chew it. That is going to be uh, everything that I have for you today. And I am very excited for our new puppo. So we're going to do a meet our um, puppy video when we get our puppy, obviously. And we will do a name reveal. Leave a like and subscribe if you're excited for the puppy because he's gonna be real cute, okay? You wish you had one. You wish you had a pup, okay? And for all of those who have a pup, bark, bark, bark. That was for your dog. I'll see you next time on BTV, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye! Flower, flower. Have you liked this video and subscribed to my channel yet? If you have not, then please do it. You're the one. Come with me and have some fun. Flower, flower, you're the one.